Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I welcome you all for today's class. Today, inshallah, we're going to discuss a very important topic. So I start with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalatu wa salam ala Rasulullah Karim. Is my voice clear? If it is okay, just type yes. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Right. Okay, brothers and sisters, let's go ahead. So it is summer season. And Alhamdulillah. The season has come in. And nowadays it's very hot. Okay. So I am here based in Chennai. It's very hot. I'll tell you. It shows 37 degrees, but outside it's like 40, 40. Okay. Alhamdulillah. So today we are going to discuss about the guidelines given by the Prophet regarding summer. Okay, so mostly we're going to deal with uh, the foods, mainly the fruits and vegetables, which Prophet used to take, recommend to people. Okay, whatever Prophet did, it is the Sunnah. Okay, so we are Muslims. Okay. It is mandatory for us to follow the footsteps of Prophet See, there is a lot of hikmah behind whatever Prophet did. Whether it is a very small thing or a very big major thing, it has a lot of hikmah. And what do we get from that? We get a lot of benefits. Alhamdulillah. See, see, when we follow prophetic medicine, inshallah, we don't have to, you know, run after any other, you know, therapy or any other system. See, everything is about, you know, what we eat, how we, you know, interact with the world around us, how we think, our mindset, right? Our lifestyle, okay? So there are, uh, you know, many systems, you know, people talk about a lot of therapies, this therapy, that therapy, huh? but the best one is the prophetic medicine because it comes directly from the creator. Who has created the whole universe. Okay. Whatever he has said. That is the best. Right. And Imam Ibn Qayyim says. The Tibunawi directly comes from. The creator. So we don't have to do what? We don't have to double check. Okay. Prophet Sallallahu said. That honey is healing. So. We can direct, take it directly. You don't have to you know think twice. Or do research. Okay. So this is how prophet medicine is. Okay. So today we are going to deal with the issues with summer. See, I, I, I'm telling you a very important principle here. Note down. Please note down. What is that? That is every season, every season comes with an ailment. Comes with a health issue. It can be good sometimes. Okay. Because... You know, when it comes, it really detoxifies our body. Prophet Sallallahu said, well, humma. Do not curse the fever. Because fever, what it does? It purifies our body. Like Prophet Sallallahu said, that fever removes the sins of a person. Like how fire removes, you know, impurities from iron. When you burn the iron, the impurities... They burn on its own and it gets purified. Okay. So certain ailments are really good for our body. What, what do we think? Oh, I, I got, you know, I'm sick. I got to go to the doctor. No. Where is the doctor? The, your body is your own doctor. Your kitchen is your own pharmacy. Yes. Okay. So this is what, you know, we have to think, you know, every time. Okay. You don't have to every time run behind the doctors, run behind the pharmacy. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created that innate nature, okay, which heals us from inside. What do we need is we need to set the right conditions. We don't set the right conditions. That is our big issue. Okay, so every disease, I mean, every climate comes with a disorder. Who said this? Imam Suyuti, he is the, one of the author of prophetic medicine. Okay, he is not just the alim. A scholar of Quran and Hadith, but also Tib, also medicine. Okay, so note down that every 
season comes with an ailment. Like summer comes with bilious problems. Bilious in the sense, heat issues. Winter comes with cold issues. Okay, during winter, most of the people, they, go, they, they get cold. They catch a cold. Right? They get phlegm issues. During heat season, they get what? They get red rashes, itchiness, okay? And other heat problems, right? For example, you see, this is a whole list I have made for you, okay? Just go through each and everything. Let's see, one by one, okay? Mostly, people have what? Burning sensation, right? Conjunctivitis, red eyes, hyperacidity. When they eat food, immediately they get this hyperacidity. Sometimes, you know, tremors because of excessive you know, heat, dryness, it dries up the body fluids. I mean, during the summer season when it is hot. Rashes. You see, most of the time you will see that children, kids, mostly they get this measles, chicken pox, only during the summer times. Because you know why? Because during summer season, the blood flows outside. I mean, it comes to the surface of the body. It flows, you know, across the skin. This is how the mechanism, the body's mechanism is. So when it flows near the skin, all the impurities of, from the you know, blood, it comes out through the skin. So that is why we get these red rashes. But what do we think? Oh, okay. Somebody has got, uh, I myself have got, you know, some skin issue. Let me go to the dermatologist. But no. Respiratory infections, food poisoning, mouth ulcers, blisters, inflammation, waterborne diseases, gas, gastric issues, constipation, uh, headaches, dizziness, dehydration, UTI, UTI is what? Urinary tract infection, fainting, okay? Loss of consciousness, insomnia, and palpitations. See, mostly when people are, are affected due to this sunstroke, you know, they faint. That is because of dehydration. They have to drink enough water, right? And liquid food. Okay. So one thing which is very common over, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. So on the screen, there are a few photos, few pictures are there, few pictures. Okay. This, this person has conjunctivitis in eye. This person has, you know, this itchy ash, rashes on the skin. This person has mouth ulcer. Now, what do we find? What do you find a very common thing on all these three pictures? I have just posted three pictures. What, what do you find, you know? which is something common in all of these photos. Okay. Just let me know. Just type in, type in. Yeah, mashallah. Yeah. Sister uh, Amira uh, says inflammation. Sayyid Fatima Banu, she says it's mouth ulcer. Yeah, you got it right. Sister Sadia, Suleiman. Yeah, you got it right. It's red in color. Yes, red in color. The rashes on the skin are red in color. The conjunctivitis on eyes, it's red in color. Okay. And the mouth sore, the sores on the lip, it's red in color. Okay. So this is an indication. This color itself is an indication of heat inside the body. So... By just looking at the changes in the color in the body, you can find out what's happening inside. If it's red, it's heat. Okay. If it is pale, it's white, then it's cold. Okay. If it is yellow, then it deals with the stomach and the spleen. Okay. If it is black, then it deals with the kidney and the gallbladder. Okay. If it is green, then there's something wrong in the liver and gallbladder. Okay. Sometimes yellow also indicates jaundice. Okay. So the color indicates, you know, the mechanism, what's happening inside the body. You know, the illness which is there inside the body. Okay. So this is a very important, you know, indication. This is an important diagnosis method. By looking just at the color, we can find out, we can figure it out whether it's a heat issue or a cold issue. Okay. So even ulcer, if you see the endoscopy, you will also find that, endoscopy image, you will find that the ulcer is also red in color inside, you know, the the stomach or, you know, the esophagus, the ulcer. Okay. So all heat issues will show what? Red color. Sometimes even the whole tongue is very red. 
okay it should be light you know lightly pink in color the the, the tongue okay sometimes it's very rare okay that's due to heat issue right so this is one method to find whether the body is going undergoing any heat symptoms okay the first thing what you need to do is you need to first change the diet okay see by default when you enter into a summer season when you when you enter into the summer season you have to change your diet immediately okay here in south india what do people do usually they start drinking you know buttermilk you know more which is in tamil right they uh, start drinking uh, buttermilk uh, they stop you know uh, eating pungent spicy food okay so here you know uh, south india uh, mostly in madras is known for very hot climate it goes above 40 degrees celsius and very humid it is okay most of the time okay you will feel that the body is very sweaty and you have to go to shower very often right so immediately we have to change the diet we can't go with the same diet not the same you know biryani that chicken 65 all those things no no okay then it will be very difficult to really manage the summer season you have to immediately change the diet okay so what what do we have to prefer now right so the best thing is we have to take a lot of vegetables and fruits and mainly uh, bitter greens okay then fruits like your uh, watermelon musk melon then uh, pumpkin gourds cucumbers sprouts right and uh, another very important tip uh, remedy for heat issues is what barley barley broth or in hindi it is barley ganji right barley is very good for heat issues to bring down all those heat you know related problems you have to take barley early morning empty stomach you have, when you get up okay do your prayers your namaz and immediately take one full glass of barley ganji barley broth okay so that is going to really take care of your heat issues okay this is what you need to take basically when the heat season i mean the summer season starts right away okay please note it down and what you what you have to cut down you have to cut down all the red meat eggs oily items right spicy sour and salty foods because usually what is there is every food you know there are different tastes every taste has its own energy spicy pungent sour foods they have this fire inside every taste has its own element sweet has earth and cold nature sweet food any sweet food you take it has cold nature it's going to really build your muscles take care of your you know energy but you know punch and spicy food they are not going to give you energy but they are only going to raise the body's temperature right so we have to cut down all those things okay so what is the tip formula here add certain things cut down certain things what you need to add you need to add all the uh cold items or cold food that is your fruits or vegetables then you will take barley okay what you have to cut down you will take the hot items hot diet food okay the meat the eggs oily items fried items spicy sour and salty foods okay so this is the prophetic way okay you have to add certain things in your diet you have to cut down certain things in your diet this is what you need to do right okay so <clears throat> now i'm going to tell you about few prophetic you know uh medicines they are not medicines they are diet right dietary uh methods which you can take okay the common thing you see i'm going to tell you about cucumber uh watermelon then you have your pumpkin right what did i show i showed you cucumber watermelon pumpkin right now i showed you three fruits right fruits and vegetables what is the common thing among all these fruits again this is a question what is the common thing what is the common thing which you found in all these fruits and vegetables exactly who else sister amira you are right perfect who else water perfectly fine rich in water perfectly fine sister sara sister fatima banu exactly water <clears throat> underground not the very common one okay what i expected was yes one is what green in color 
Okay. See, green in color. This green color usually gives what cooling effect. Okay. Right. So you just take a cucumber, just cut the cucumber, cut them in slices, and put it on your eyes. What do you feel? You feel the chillness. You feel the cool sensation. That is going to help your eyes. That is going to reduce the heat sensation in the eyes. You know, burning eyes, itchy eyes, red eyes, conjunctivitis, everything. Yes, this is how nature therapy, natural therapy works. Okay, right. Every you know green thing, <clears throat> green dress. You put on the green dress, cools the body. Even white cools the body. Blue cleans the body, cools the body. Just put on green dress during summer. White dress during summer. Avoid red or dark colors. When you go out, okay. So even this is what summer management, summer climate management, choosing the right colors, okay. The green, the blue, the white. Okay. Did you notice when you went to the hospital, you you saw that the curtain is green, the bed sheet is green, and many other things are green. Why they are in green color? Why did they choose? Why didn't they choose red color? Why didn't they choose, ah, huh? uh, dark? Colors like black, dark brown. Why did they choose? Why did they choose green color? Yes, to give a cool sensation. Okay, and one more thing which I just forgot to tell you. It's about the mindset. You know what happens during summer season? Mostly people, you know, they feel irritated most of the times. They get excessively angry. They are frustrated. Right? They themselves they don't know why they are so angry sometimes. That is because of the effect of the climate. Yes, every climate, you know, also has an effect on our mind, on our mind and heart. Okay, so every you know uh, organ is connected with certain season, certain taste, certain uh, you know things surrounding us, right? So every things it surrounds us has an effect on our organs. Okay, right? Green color is good for the liver. Right. If someone has a weak liver, they have to take what? They have to opt for green color. And one interesting I'll tell you is that automatically by default you start liking the, these colors. See, for example, when someone has a weak liver, they'll start liking green color. They will choose green clothes. They'll buy a green color pens. They'll buy you know uh, green color foods. They'll like green color things to eat. Right? Bitter uh, you know bitter greens. Bitter taste when their liver energy is very down, very low, by default. Okay, so if we, you know, give respect to our body sensation, if we give respect to our, you know, our choices which comes from inside, which Allah has, you know, put down inside the DNA, there's inshallah, self healing happens. But most of the time, what happens? We don't take care of all those things. We don't, you know, give respect. Okay, we just go behind the medicine, medicine, medicine. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Always, I don't. I'm not. I don't oppose, right? I'm not against any therapy or any system. Okay, I'm telling you that the primary solution is what is going be behind self healing. Okay, well, even if you go to the physician, he gives you the you know the pills and whatever he gives the medicine, right? It it takes care for some time. Later on, it's you who are, who are going to self heal. It's your body is going to which is going to self heal you. Am I right or wrong? Right. So when we know this art of healing, inshallah, life will be easy. Right. We can take care of our job. We can really take care of our ibadah. Okay. That is what the main goal is for regarding this workshop, regarding this webinar. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's see a few hadiths very quickly. Let's see a few hadiths of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay. So there is a hadith of Abdullah bin Jafar that he saw Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam eating cucumber. Al Kitha with Rutab. Rutab is what? It is fresh ripened dates. Okay, so he mixed cucumber with ripened dates. Okay, this is there in uh, Tirmizi. Okay, so even cucumber is among the family. Which family? The melons family or the squash family? Okay, so Prophet Salaam, he did like this cucumber and he took along with the Dates, ripened dates. Now, why did he took along with the ripened dates? We'll discuss, inshallah. Uh, what are the benefits of you know this cucumber? Cucumber is the ideal food for summer. Most of you know already. 
right? It's ideal food for summer. It's green in color and you can put it over your eyes. You can put it over your skin. It's going to take care of the skin. Okay, just take, take uh, one kukuma, just smash the pulp and just apply it on your skin. If you have skin rashes, that's it. It will take care of. Okay, why do we have to go to the showroom and, you know, to the uh, showroom or any big, you know, big shop and buy the, all those creams where you have your own medicine in your kitchen? Okay, so you can use that in that way. It takes care of your skin because it has a lot of vitamin C inside it. it takes care of your complexion. Takes care of your uh, also your joints, your you know your hair, right? You can just use it over your skin as well. Now, why did Prophet Sallallahu He ate cucumber with dates. See, those days, this is one reason. Those days, nobody had time to make big big meals. We have you know biryani, all those things. Whatever they used to get, they used to eat it and they used to continue with their way their way of life okay so this cucumber plus these dates okay see if you see the caloric value and all the nutrients inside it, it makes a complete food cucumber has a lot of water content has very less vitamins and minerals whereas this dates have a lot of you know sugar and also what also rich in minerals and vitamins so it makes a whole food also sometimes you know when you take a lot of cucumber because it is cold in nature, very cold in nature. When you take it, it will have certain side effects. What are the side effects? Side effects which are uh, related to the cold issues. Okay. Cold can accumulate inside the body. Right. So to counteract it, you have to take what? Hot food. So dates is a hot food. So when you take cucumber with dates, inshallah, you will not have, you will not get that cold issues. So it will just balance it out. So this is called balancing. See, again, Prophet is teaching us when you eat your food, okay, try to have a balanced diet, right? So the dietitian will tell you what? The dietitian will only tell you about what? The vitamins, the minerals, the, you know, the calorific value. But here, Prophet is telling us about what? About the elements, about the cold nature, about the hot nature, right? Both should be equal if someone is, you know, already has a cold nature because every person has their own temperament. Okay, some person, few people are very, you know, their body is very cold. When you touch their body, it's really cold relative to other people. When you touch their body, their body is hot. Yeah, there are temperaments. People have their own temperaments, right? So accordingly, they have to consume the food, right? If we want to stay in balance, stay healthy. We don't want to go to the doctor always. Then you have to eat balanced food. So here, Alhamdulillah, Prophet is teaching us what? Is teaching us to eat balanced diet according to what the nature of the person, the nature of the food, okay, where we are living, in what climatic you know uh, conditions, right, and what is the nature of the body at but that particular time. There is another hadith where Ali radiallahu, he was sick, right, he had conjunctivitis, right. When he tried to eat dates, Prophet he asked him to stop. He prevented him. From taking the dates because he was sick. The conjunctivitis, it is related to the liver. There is heat in when there is heat in the liver, the eye gets conjunctivitis. Okay, the doctor, regular doctor will tell you that the virus, the infection, but it is related to the liver. Okay, so when someone eats dates when their liver is in heat condition, it will aggravate the symptoms. Okay, then uh, soup was brought to Ali Radha. Then Prophet Salasam said, I know the cress seeds, I know the cress uh, green leaves uh, soup. Then Prophet Salaam said, yes, you can take this. It is suitable to you. So we have to eat food according to the climatic conditions, according to our body temperament, according to the situation. Please note it down. Okay, right. Now it's about watermelon. Okay, so now it's watermelon season, you know well, right? So you need to take the, the green one, the totally the green one, the entire, you know, the cover which has the green one, the skin has the green one. Okay. They say this is the best one, best variety, right? Not the striped one. Right. So see, basically, this watermelon is good for the stomach, cleans the stomach. Okay. Two main things you need to note down about watermelon. Don't ever eat after your meal. Take it one hour before the meal. Okay. Right. So this is one thing. Another thing is uh, don't take it during when you have cold or when it is winter season. Don't take it because it's very cold. It has a lot of water content. These are the two things which you need to remember about watermelon. Watermelon, Prophet Salasam also used to, he took it uh, along with Rutab, along with ripened dates. Okay. 
this Hadith is, hadith is there in Abu, Abu Dawood. Right? Fine. So now it's about bottle god or the pumpkin. See, Prophet Salaam liked pumpkin very much. So once uh, Sahabi took Prophet Salaam to his home, then uh, he uh, gave him some meat to eat, some barley bread, and along with that, he gave he even gave this pumpkin, Prophet Salaam. He he brought the the Sahabi, the the, the companion of Prophet Salaam. He said that Prophet Salaam was very very choosy. He was just picking all the gods and eating the pumpkin. Okay. And thereafter, the Sahaba, even they started liking pumpkin. So pumpkin has a lot of, lot of benefits. Right. So the main thing which I want you to focus is about this combination. See, Prophet always ate and he used to tell the Sahaba. See, Aisha is telling, you know, the, fa his, uh, the, uh, the father of Hazrat uh, Hisham bin Arwa, Arwa that Prophet said to her that whenever you cook dry meat add thup, dubba, that is your pumpkin right so now we have evidence scientific evidence that it has a lot of magnesium and it is very good for the heart magnesium by default is very good for the heart okay when we eat meat you know a lot of red meat right this magnesium levels goes down and because of that the the arteries you know the muscles of the heart they, they get hardened Okay, so for that, to counter that, we need to eat what? We need to eat this, either this pumpkin or bottle god. Mashallah, see, you got the concept, right? So what will happen if people go to the wedding, go to the, uh, the wali ma or the nikah, keep on eating what? Meat, 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 then Coke, Pepsi. Then you don't have to complain your takdeer. You, don't have, you have to complain yourself because what you're doing is wrong, right? So green pumpkin is the best choice green pumpkin no doubt see orange pumpkin i don't have idea about orange pumpkin but it is the green pumpkin okay it is the green pumpkin it is the best one you can choose because most of the you know naturopathy uh, therapists they say green pumpkin pumpkin is the best one and the pumpkin since i'll tell you the number one medicine right these are the benefits pumpkin seeds it's there in the screen you may note it down really improves the heart health and it's very good for bladder issues someone says comes and tells you that uh, i get frequently i get you know this urination sensation very frequently i feel that you know i can't you know urinate regularly like you know easily it's become very difficult for me just ask them to take pumpkin seeds every day two times morning evening class four days inshallah okay because it has a lot of benefits i'll tell you Mostly for the blood issues, for the heart, it lowers the uh, BP, blood pressure. And uh, I'll tell you, all these, you know, all these fruits and vegetables, which are, which I told you, there in Tebunawi, your cucumber, your watermelon, your bottle gourd or pumpkin, all these fruits, by default, they lower the blood pressure. Lower the blood pressure, no doubt. Okay. Right. So this is what we need to do, people, brothers and sisters, right? This is management, food management for the summer season. Okay. So basically, please note down what we need to do is, yeah, we have to change the diet, right? We have to take excess amount of uh, fruits which have water content, like we just discussed, right? Cucumber, watermelon, right? Musk melon, musk melon come, also comes in the category. Okay, number three is what? Sleep and rest. See, very important. Sleep, it increases the chillness, the cold, you know, energy of our body. When we don't sleep, it is going to increase what? Dryness and heat, right? Enough sleep is re required, enough rest is required, right? Then number four is gusal, right? You have to take bath, you have to take bath regularly every day, at least two times, right? So, so again, if someone can't take you know, ghusl, you know, more often, then they can make wudu. See, subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this niyama of doing wudu five times a day, right? And when we do wudu, you know, before going to sleep, even we get rewards, right? So either ghusl or wudu, okay? And choose the correct clothing and the colors. Don't wear, you know, all the woolen clothes or, you know, the thick clothes. Just wear the cotton cloth, right? And choose the right colors, you know, green, white, light blue and all those things.
six number six pressure points i'm i'll teach you pressure points right where you can use those points to reduce the heat levels inside the body okay these these points really work fantastically great number seven is earthing when i say earthing most of you might be confused what is this earthing i just i just know earthing uh no relevant to electrical engineering what is earthing i'll tell you all this okay there's one question Qu questions later inshallah okay earthing is getting connected to the ground where do we sleep mostly on the bed bed mattress cushion right all cotton everything it is not earthing you have to sleep on the ground at least you have to sit on the ground right when you sleep on the ground that is called earthing and that is going to really help you we are not connected to the earth yes you know what is the sunnah of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he asked the sahaba to walk barefoot sometimes do we walk barefoot we don't walk we walk well if we walk in that way people will tell oh this is fakir some fakir is walking right at least we don't have to do in that way we have to do, you know walk on the lawn on the park not outside right without any reason right so walking barefoot is a thing lying on the ground right inside our home is a thing as well okay when we earth ourselves we connect to the earth and we get the benefits earth is cold in nature how it is cold in nature what is the proof you pour water in the earthen pot what happens to the temperature of the water yeah it goes down right so earth has cooling effects so connect to the earth lie down for a while okay i don't i'm not telling you to not to lie on your bed Okay, just for a while, just lie down on the earth, you know, and then see how the body heals on its own, right? Whenever someone is sick, they have to lie down on the earth for some time. Okay, they will heal quickly, inshallah. Number eight is staying indoors. So there are certain times, you know, when the hot climate affects our body at the maximum levels. That is the time between 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. 11 a.m. to p.m. We have to stay indoors, or at least when when we are out. We have to stay, I mean, we have to protect ourselves from the sun directly. This is where people get this heat stroke very often, right? You might have read it in, you know, paper. So are we back? Yeah. Okay, so let me let us take some questions now. Okay, so just raise your hand if you have anything to ask related to our topic today or anything else. Just raise your hand. I'll unmute you. you. Can ask questions. Let's. Yeah, please. If you have any questions, just raise your hand. Am I am I audible? Anything related to prophetic medicine or you have an ongoing issue, anything, you can. You can unmute yourself or you can put it in the chat box. It's up to you. Red eyes after bath, it's natural, brother. Sister, it's natural. Neural eye sister, it's natural. Because when we bath, what happens is our blood flow, it changes, comes to the you know, surface of the body. That's natural. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you about the acute points for reducing heat. Please look at the screen. Look at the screen. I am going there. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, almost there. Yeah. Liver to I mean the first point, heart seven. Heart seven. Where is heart seven? Yeah. This is heart just below your pinky liver. Just go down the pinky liver. The wrist joint is here. Right. This is heart seven. Okay. Best point for reducing body heat. Here. Okay, this is the point. Heart seven. Just below this pinky point, pinky finger. Little finger, right? Over here in the wrist joint, just below the pinky finger here. This is heart seven. This is the best point for your heart, reducing heart heat or body heat or, you know, insomnia, you're not falling asleep because of the heat or if you feel a lot of heat inside the body, irritation, anger, 
anything anything okay just give a massage give a massage okay give a pulse massage or rotate it okay 2 3 minutes then you see wonders inshallah okay then next point is liver to liver to again it's a very good point it is on the toe i mean on the behind the big i mean between the big toe and the first finger of the foot okay here this is the point okay so this is liver to it is very very good point to reduce body heat overall body heat i'll tell you yeah someone has asked sister has asked about hijama hijama is a very good treatment during hot summer okay because the blood is moving about i mean the surface it is going to come out all along with the toxins the toxins even come out with the blood inshallah okay so i'm going to teach you another thing another technique of reducing heat come on all of you uh, look at this picture you know this is my own picture okay i'll just show you here in video i have video right okay just put your right hand on your uh, you know forehead left hand beh behind your neck okay put your left hand behind your neck okay just leave your mobile phone for just 3 minutes okay just look at my uh, video i'll just show you uh yeah like this this is another pressure technique this will reduce your tension your anxiety your irritation yeah come on uh, people just do this for 2 3 minutes i'll come back don't 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 take take off your fingers your hands okay do it continuously okay breathe deeply relax your shoulders Okay, you can stop now. Now let me know how you felt. This is another technique from Japan. This is called Jin Shin Jutsu method. Just just type in whatever you felt. Okay, you felt better. You felt worse. Okay, did you stress out? And I think some of you are already you know uh, attended my. uh webinars before where i taught this technique okay if you have followed you would have seen many many changes good results inshallah 
Mashallah. Sister Amira, she says that her breathing got slowed down and uh, she felt calm. Did anybody? Did, did anyone felt the you know the pulsation on the uh, on the neck or the forehead pulsation? Any pulsation? Any sense of pulsation? Did anyone? Okay, so all those are good signs. If you feel the sensation, I mean the pulsation, that means it's really working. You're, you have done the best job. Good job. Okay, so there are various techniques, like various points all across the body where you can use them to heal, self-heal. Okay, I taught this to many, many people and they said they have relieved gastric issues. Okay, headache. And myself, I'm, you know, also a patient of migraine. I have, you know, improved a lot by doing this, right? So all sorts of points are available. Okay, there are 361 points across our body which can be used for different ailments, okay? From loss of consciousness, from heart attack, to nausea, vomiting, fever, right? So this is called acupressure, okay? The same concept is used in pyjama, okay? There are different points over the body. It's at the front, it's at the back, on head, Okay, cups are placed, incisions are made, few cuts are made and the blood is you know, allowed to come out of the body. When it comes out, it comes out with the toxins and also with undesirable stuff. Okay, then it leads to healing. Okay, so this is how it works, brothers and sisters. Any questions? Any more questions? Anybody, anyone likes to talk, can unmute. Or you want to type in, you can type in. Last thing I want to show you is about this remedy. What is it? This is the barley broth which I was talking about. Beat the heat with barley. Note down. Okay. Any anything related to heat, burning sensation, stomach ache. Okay. Morning when you when someone gets up and goes to the washroom, class. It's burning. Fire. Okay. It's like rocket fire. Right. Barley broth is the best remedy. Okay, just add one teaspoon of barley, 200, 200 ml of water, just heat it, right, and take it. Okay, it should be taken one hour before the breakfast, not down, not immediately after the breakfast. One hour, one and a half hour before the breakfast, during morning hours, okay. So, this is barley broth, the best for all heat issues. So, some people, you know, basically what they take is they take that... Uh, uh, rice, you know, what is that called? Rice in Urdu Tamil, we say ganji, rice. Uh, I don't know. They take it and even that helps. Okay. Better than that, many times better than that is this barley broth. Okay. You can try this. Okay. So, how was the Jin Shin Jitsu treatment? Yeah. Good. Alhamdulillah. Okay. You can try that. There are a lot of uh, points. Okay. One more thing, very you know, interesting thing I'm going to tell you. It's about uh, another important point, which is there in the Jutsu method, Jinshin Jutsu, Japanese pressure methods. Okay, what is that is, the pressure is, point is on the hand and on the chest. So how do we make our uh, Salah? Where do we, how do we tie our hands? Like this, right? right? So it is mentioned in Jutsu, it's a very old, you know, uh, technique that even this position is also heals the body. SubhanAllah, see? Right. So when we stand for the salah, when we stand for the prayer, when we are holding our hands in this way, that is also healing us. Many people have said when they used to uh, read tahajjud and uh, taraweh, right? They felt that the pain were going. Whatever the pains they had, they were just going. Okay. And all the weaknesses, it, they were just going. Nobody, you know, till today has said to me I prayed a lot and I got this issue. I got back pain and all this. No. Yeah. People might have got back pain. Acute illnesses, right? And salah really help people. Okay, so this is also a point. Okay, this position is also a point. No doubt. Okay, so when you do salah, do it slowly. Don't rush. Don't be very fast. That is not going to help us. Okay, inshallah. You might be knowing this, but I'm just reminding you, inshallah. 
Okay. So any more questions? Can we uh, finish off our session today? Yeah. Right. So uh, as I always, I always remind you, we also have courses, uh, prophetic medicine and acupressure courses where we have 25 uh, day class, 25 day class. Each class has a 35 to 45 minutes uh, lecture. Okay. It's online. All videos, all uh, other material is pre-recorded. Okay. So 25 days class, you have all the PDF notes. You uh, get a certificate, not course certificate. You get only uh, course attendance certificate. Okay. How is it going? This is going to help you. This is going to help you in your professional medical, you know, practice. Okay. You go get more knowledge. You get the prophetic medicine knowledge, divine knowledge. Okay. With that, you're going to help your, yourself first, yourself, your family, then your patients, your clients. Okay. This is very essential for every Muslim. Please understand. Okay. So I invite you for this class. Okay. This class has a very affordable, you know, fee. Right. So. This is online again, okay. There are more than uh, 350 plus students who have already done. They are already they are you know uh, therapists. They are doctors. They are you know the regular allopathic doctors. Alhamdulillah, they have done. Okay, we have done live. We have done direct. Okay, see it, the class is already there. It's pre-recorded. Okay, once you get into the class, you get all the videos. You can watch it. Okay, according to your time. Okay. According to your schedule, whenever you, you know you're free, you can watch the video. And there are four to five tests in Google form. Okay, you have to do the test. When you do the test, you will know what you have learned properly. Okay, right. And at the end of the 25-day course, you just intimate me that I have done all the videos, I have done all the tests. Then I'll give you a participation certificate. Right. Again, it's all up to you. Your hard work. How do you get? You get all the ideas and implement. Inshallah. Okay. So if you are a therapist already, then this course is a go-go for you. Okay. Right. So uh, you will also get the knowledge about all those points, essential points that you need for your daily life. Okay. Right. So this is, everything is all external therapy. Right. No drugs, uh, no medicine, food, food, and body points. That's it. Okay. Right. So we come to the end of this session. Okay. So Jazakallah for being here. Jazakallah for all your uh, support, for your sabr to uh, listen what I have, I wanted to give you. Okay. It's all Allah's niyama that Allah has given me uh, certain knowledge. Which I'm just sharing you with my brothers and sisters so that it really makes your life easy and makes your, you know, your, uh, Make sure uh, gives you healthy life, inshallah. Right? You can pass this knowledge to others as well. Right? It will help benefit the whole community, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Wa hada billahi tawfiq. Wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wa salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.